Shop number one, a valley dabbing, while I'm Bricama police station on Yatilimola. Bully shop number one, a Tolomu Dinkirati, Dinkral Mini Alonco, Ebenim Femal Sonora, Adadi Malu, Femal Mini Alonco, Mobile Lulu, and in Channel. Bully shop, no Haiti Channel Sutalian, Melia Lonculia, and Basamba Falia and Afixali, no memory cacks of Talian, plus dry phone, Bluetooth speakers, air fuel, glass protector, Mini Alonco, Niala, Mobile Local Santa Baramiro, Sima and Devil, the Chagel Sutalian, a Sip or Sifa, a flash screen for. Auto and number of bullets. A man that will find a bully sop here. I tell phone also to a little techno phone or Hawaii phone or Samsung Galaxy or Sifa or Sifa and in simple phone or Nalia Lanko Batro Bokataria Gila. Welcome to Nati, bully sop number one. A fellow Nabitin in the Alibrican police station on Yatil Moladron and now after K Catania, while a Yinka Malacacudo, a quarter, a Likumadi telephone or nine nine five seven two six two, while a seven seven nine nine five three zero. Bully sop number one. Assalamu alaikum na bari la moy lal bring gambia for gambia banta am ferengal kontong kal murundinan ka programo kamale nan dami alon ko ka fay trrc in translation ka to trrc atakana ni kanela mi alon ko do ba jama ma moy anu epika faham ko makawal min ka boje wala tin kar moma min ka pa mudu bojanti anada kala suloti ka jeko ka kamana mole mi alonko wolam nyim banko do balti pour sa faham min ba kering ane min ketanu ka ni redi wolori wala do bal dingol abolori wolle ane ka mol fahamundi min mul ketany banko kan jang ka bonan ya jamela 22 years maralola so bidum matala damin wolam tala basiru barola musuflol kunun nga boninun bare nga damal dinne boninun so bidum ni wo kilingol wo murnanan ka kamanan ila kuma kangol to ya kole ya kol min taki ani hatandal min taki nyin sanyi moning lulo kono fo bila 
anong nim programo minu bulo ba koto wala mbule swap number one anin swap number two swap number one wala fela le police station on yati lengola swap number two wala ba le red cross yati lengola ani APS approved service money transfer ila bitigo fela le petrol gas yang GT bank dala je ni lafa kuri kila ani nduga ani kuko tengo ika beleke sa nung da fengi la trong bitala ning Basiru la musufulol bita la tala basiru baro la musufulol uh, itambi tambi kono janning kuol kono aning ila balu onya ada kebu nya dile abala fa warta gambia bare nyaro da manning mina telephone line o yella prato la moy dal fanan alsa commandero ke ala min sutoje alsa foje bidum tele basirin jang mohammed lamin bojang ml Baros friend who was Mamadou Baji. The wife also came. I sympathize with us. But it was just, it was just sad. You mentioned that while you were listening on to focus on Africa. They were interviewing the then president at the time. That's correct. And you mentioned the name Kairaba Jawara. Is that correct? That's correct. Who are you referring to when you say Kairaba Jawara? The then president. So the, in November 1994, meaning after the July 1994 coup d'etat. Yes. November 1994, July 1994 Yes. Focus on Africa was interviewing um, the president. Focus on Africa was interviewing 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 the president. Focus on Africa I just want to make a clarification because in November 1994, which was after the coup d'etat of 94, are you referring to President um, Jawara or former President Jawara? Former President. Thank you for that clarification. So at that time, there were a lot of people at your house. People were crying. Um, it was a very emotional period for all of you. Can, can you tell us where the older children were at the time? When they were in the compound. But when the news was announced, one of my our sister-in-law, who lives in Sanchaba, member Siri in Sanchaba, they took the kids there. And then we are left with our sympathizers and family members. So still focusing on November 11, 1994. Can you tell us, Madam Yabo, if um, anything else happened that night? Did anyone come to your house? They, they said uh, we, we, we were in the same thing with Baro, so we've come to uh, 
And this question is for um, any one of you. Do you remember how many soldiers came to your house that night? I do not know how many, but I, I can I recognize one person there. What time was the boy private soldier? At that time, that boy was a private soldier. I've been in state house. He, he, he was at the state house. He ended up at the state house. I, I recognize him. But uh, they were uh, they were they were a few people, but I cannot say exactly how many they were. So I can I call? Yes, please go. Yeah, they, the soldiers came around 3 a.m. in the house. So four or five of soldiers entered inside. And one of the soldiers entered inside. Ako soldier na ni wala lulu wala dunta bungo kono. Because in my house there were three. Ako bara in my room. Ako bara atela bungo kono mo sabale dunta wato. So when the other one asked me to open my cupboard, ako doka yango ila almoro yele. And when I opened it, I stood at my door because I was afraid of the soldiers enemy. And I saw two standing outside. Where they are guns. So they opened the cupboard and then they removed Basiru's belongings. And then they left. And the only one I recognized was Yusuf Asise. Because for him, we normally see him when Baro was alive. But from that day, I haven't seen him anymore. My Yabo, you mentioned a private soldier. Is it the same yeah. Yusuf Asise or yeah. a different? Madam Yabo, I call a private soldier. Do you know how many soldiers are there? Yusuf Asise, how many soldiers are there? But in the morning, but here no more. But the coming after not alone, personally, the coming alone. I didn't know him. Kolum coming again, you drunk straight away. I saw you coming. You know, motive not alone. But here, you left him with Pat. So the other day when I saw him, I remember that it was a guy who came to pick up Basiru's possessions. So to make sure I understand it correctly. While you are still grieving, around 2, 3 a.m. in the morning, armed soldiers came to your house in order to retrieve your husband's belongings to take back to the army. Is that correct? Yes, that was uh, what was uh, the case. Did those soldiers do or say anything to you when they came, apart from their initial statement that they came to sympathize? No, they didn't tell us anything. Bring soldiers to Nata. For you, come to Fali and go to Kuke. Bring a young Foko in a tailor. Bala Fali it and all. No, they didn't tell us anything. All they said was that they came to retrieve his positions. So later that day, and we're now focused on the 12th of November, 1994. Did anything happen to you? Yes, something happened. I can't figure out the time exactly. Akate watu phone wala kete men na tigi tigi. But some NIAs came to the house. Akubari NIA uludul na ata bungo kono. And arrested us. Inata ye telefona lumuta. Ye to cross the banyo. Ye samba banyo. At the NIA building. Ye samba NIA la kordato. When we read there. Akubiri futa taje. 
We are taking into different directions. Ye janjandi ye bondi nyoka ye do samba karadola ye do samba karadola. Because when we entered the main building, that was the last time I saw Sunkaru. Ako biri dunta bumba nyinkono wole kita sinya labamuti ay Sunkari je. I don't know where they took her, but I was taken to one small office. Aka malo ye Sunkari samba da member ya te samba office in link do leto. And asked me to wait. Ikaye batuje. I was there for almost 40 minutes. Kabije hano for minute tana ni nyong. And one of the men came for me. Ako ilamu kilinda takang. They took me to Muniru's office, Muniru Dabo. Ya samba Muniru Dabo la office auto. Upon entering the office. Ako biradunda office auto kono. He said in Mandinka. Muniru ko Mandinka kango to. It's unfortunate, but it's your husband who killed himself. Akaya akata kuti meya longo amani nia barikele ya famfa. Then I didn't even comment. Akama mfemfo. Because somebody was behind me. Akukato modo ba koma. And I don't know what is coming next. Ako andunga malo mune bina kela. So they asked me to sit. Ikae si. Then I have my seat. Akuto mola sita. Then mune question me. Ako muniri ya nyinga. We want to get something clear from you guys. Especially you. Because we know that you are very intimate with your husband. We want to know which of the army officers that were visiting your husband. From, from October to this date. I told them I haven't seen any officer in our company. They asked me which of the ex ministers. In the president Jawara's government. President Jawara Lamansa Kunda Kono. Who normally visited my husband. Menu Kana Ikema Kumpa Bojan. I told them no one have ever visited my husband. Akoye Bulukono Mo Nenaman Nanteke Ma Kumpa Bojan. And then he told me you have to be cooperative. Ako to Molo Kai Bari Inyanta Sonale Nakumola Niek Diamo Yukumo Kuindim. Because we know your husband was having some meetings with the officers in your compound. Ako Katunga Lone Ikema ni Muduluka Bemokele Alaswoko no men Munyaton called the soldier Yakarola. I told him that is news to me. Akayanko Mukibaro let interfe Mambo Menkalama. I've never had it. We never see any meeting held in our house. Ben Neman can tell Labuokono Jang. Then he proceeded and asked me, which kind of charity did you guys rip, uh, did in, the, in these days? I said, no charity was, was given in our house. And he told me, but we heard that you, your husband killed a black cow. I said, that is not true. And he said, then you sit out here and wait. Akai watu ite si jangi yebatu. Said okay. Kwa hiyo abetiat. I said there for twenty minutes again. Akasi taje four minutes mu angoteke. Then they took me out of that office. Ya finti ndi wo office wako no. I went back to that small office that they took me. Ako ya murundi wo office ndi mo kono ya sindi dami mfollowto. I waited for a long time. I couldn't figure out how many minutes or how many hours. Aka meta siringe de amalo montoro watije lu ayole kije. The same guy who picked me and took me to Moniru's office. Aku mo kilumu me ya abundi je kasamba Moniru la office auto. Took me again to Mr. Bar's office. Wole na taka makote ke kasamba Mr. Bar la office auto. I think then he was the NIA director. Aka ya mero utumu wole NIA director ti utumu. The same questions were asked. Ya nyinika ati wo kuma kilumu lela. But my answers were just the same. Ako afana naja biro luketa wo kuma kilumu leti. And while I was there, Ako abeje utumu. Lieutenant Edward Singate. Lieutenant Edward Singate. Lieutenant Sana Sabali. Lieutenant Sana Sabali. Walk into the office. Ulmo flo dunta nang office okono. When they entered, bri dunta nang. I was asked to go out. Ya fate ay findi. With the one who took me inside. Anim ke o me ya dun dinunje. Then I went back to that small room. Utumu wale anata muru kata wo office ndi muto ya sindi nunda me. Then after 15 minutes, akubiri minute tani lulu tambita. They came and took me again. Inata kama koteke. Then it was an older man who came to collect me. Akubiri modole inata kama wosilo. I went back to Mr. Bar's office. Amuruta Mr. Bar's office wako nukoteke. And then he told me, akubiri modole inata kama wosilo. When you say the truth here, nieto nyafujang. 
That's the only thing we need from you. Nobody is going to harm you. We will go back to your house. Say, I said, there is nothing else I can tell you. Other than what I told you. And that is the truth. I can never say anything that has never happened. Then he sat. I heard him talking to a telephone in a telephone conversation. Then later he called somebody. Then he asked him, come and pick Mrs. Barrow. And then the man entered. Then he took me out. Then I, they took me back to that small office where I was kept. There I stayed longer. It was one hour, ten minutes, I think. Time, they asked me to go home. Then I left. So do you recall how much time you spent at the NIA? Yeah, I spent almost three hours there. Madam Yabo, so upon arriving at the NIA headquarters in Banjul, you were separated from Madam Balde. Can you tell us about your experience? Madam Yabo, we really are some NIA officials to file footage. Ye, ye, ni Madam Balde bondi nyoka ne ya live some bali faye. Afanya mune keta ukola. I enter some bali street baya. They took me straight to bar. When I entered, I found a bar seated with Babu Karjata. They asked me how many houses Basiro had and uh, how many children. When, when I told them, uh, give them the answers, then they, they, they inquired about uh, a sacrifice that uh, was performed in our house. I told them I was not aware. They said to me, woman, you have to be frank with us. And then I said to them, I, I'm telling you everything that I know. I told them I did not know anything. But All I can say is that Basilo went home, went to work and he never uh, came back. But I did not know anything. Mm. Uh, after that, uh, they released me and uh, asked me to go home. Mm. Yes. You mentioned uh, Babu Kajata. Which Babu Karjata are you referring to? Do you know? Ako ye Babu Karjata tofu. Ebe Babu Karjata jumale ma. Ami commander Babu Karjata. Ami commander Babu Karjata. You both mentioned a Mr. Ba, who you believe uh, might have been the director of the NIA at the time. Do you know his first name? Ako ali muflo be ye Mr. Ba tofu. Andu ali ni miraku tumu olem director general ti NIA utumu. Ali ya tofu lo lo nebang. I do not know his full name. But I know that he was resident in Savage at the time. No, we don't know. I don't know his face now. Aka Amato Fololo. Does the name Sambaba ring a bell? Ako for Sambaba to so for Sali Hakilo Bulandiban. Yes, it's Sambaba. So you were both at the NIA for probably about three hours. If I'm not mistaken, you arrived there sometime after 5 p.m., is that correct? I, am, I, I, I easily forget, so I cannot uh, talk about time. Definitely I forgot the time, but we spent three hours. Three hours. I'm trying to find out if by the time you went back to your house, it was night time. 
akala ftalo na le watu men ali saita kafutal la suoko no fudu wa ata suoko tale yeah it was night time ko ha suoko tale utumo at the time where were your children you told us that they had been taken to a relative's house were Ako, they still at that relative's house ako utumo ayenyum fo yen ko ila alla dindungul aliyo samba ali badin dole la suoko no fo utumo dindungul be wolato bang Yes, they were at the home of the aunt. And that was where they were before the uh, until the crowd had dispersed. Yeah, it was only Fanta who was with us. Because he was a baby breastfeeding. Ako tumo Fanta do ne be bulu so ko no je wor ka to tumo be susu kan ne tumo. After what happened following the announcement that you heard people coming to your house and sympathizing did you were you told anything by the army ako bring o kholu keta molu bakan molu kana allah su wakono ibe dunebe bola fodum so jarol nata kuma fo aliyen ne bang ani no they did not tell us anything and the more are requestable for us is for our din naba we requested for uh, the body but uh, they would not agree They said that uh, even if he had died in in his house, we would have collected him much more than he he died in 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 a war. So the people just prayed and uh, dispersed. Did either of you or any member of your family or close friend? um make any attempt to either retrieve the body or to facilitate the return of your husband's body ako atelu mo fulo ko no wala fa ali badin wala al lonyo fo mo sik soto je meye ko kata pour ka fureo nyin soto wala pour ise fureo nyin di alla fa mo yo katale bang yes we had some ako ito nyala ya katale because we i can fully remember one of his godfathers aka hakilo ba kam basiru ala kebalu ko no klimbi je Uncle Abdul Bay ka fo me Uncle Abdul Bay barin non woti en la sekunda jaman o bela sekunda jaman was with us on the day of November 11 ako ni be nyokan nanu no gamba karoti tan nen kilimo and then he he said that he is going to talk to Sadibu Haidara's father aka bita di amula Sadibu Haidara fama ye to see if he can have the dead body pour ka joko fo si fureo soton no e wi so jarolu bulu so he left ako wo botaje but unfortunately are ko manna ke anyama sadibu father told him i spoke to sadibu sadibu fama ka en ko nte fama diamo ta sadibu yen but he said it cannot be possible ko bari ate kenola for them to have the dead body pour ka fureo di badi ngol la ko ta kenola so that was the time they decided to make prayers for him ako to mo lem ye nyim ngani yabitun ko alin se dua e na then they scattered mo lu janjanta o to mo le Did the fact that you never received the corpse of your husband leave you with some hope that he may still be alive? Ako fo wa reali mali ke ma fureo je fo wa e jiki dundu ali kono le bang ko ase keno le ali ke ma be baluri. Yeah at, at at one point ako what is it on that? I told to afana yo mira le nun because I couldn't believe that he was dead. Ako ka to amalla nyi na ko basiru fata and after some time and we had had for what it ambita we had rumors that some soldiers ran away akawi na tanyin kibaro moy ko sojoro do lu bortale so it was around february akobari february karo ma fanna one man came into our house mo soton da men nate la bo ko no and he was very confident akondu ni mari lata afanna le he told us baro was in kasamas anyum fo yon ko baro be kasamas then he gave us the name of the village i said to to fo ye and the compound on where he is stay and in kordati o to ko abenu suo men kono kasamas and he said he saw baro life akandum america nya fangole baro je abe baluri so we, we we sat at a family level ako to dimba ya badi dunta badi mbunna we talked about it ikachata hakuala then i told them i will sacrifice and go there ako ate ko ye woto ntebe fambola mbitaje then my mother in law told me but fanta is here with you how can you travel with fanta ako eh abitanka en ko wolem basiru ba mata kay di fanta be bulu de nano sila e tabitamo e betama no la nyadile i told her i will get, i will get her a supplement akay mbe domoro fere la yenne and i went in for lactogen 
Otumolem I left Ojem Sang din din do moro le moti. And I left. About a J. I went. Akatata. I was having the address. Otumol. I have never travelled to Kasama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fa ekwa be dem mo be abulu oto din kira be safiri ngabula. Koka tu ane leman ta Kasama so otumol. And I went to I went to Bara. Akatata ni Bara la. And I reached Kaulak. Drive to Kaulak. Then I asked uh, the safe the garas. I saved the garas so ni ni nka men kamoto lutem bendije. Which car should I take to go to this village? Aka ni nta bula la moto juma le la puru kata ni nsiate auto. Then they told me I have to join the tamba kunda Aka, transport. Aka auto ni nta bula la tamba kunda moto le la. Then I boarded the transport. Aka auto mo la bula tamu to kono. I went up to Kosema. Aka tata fu Kosema. That was where they asked me to drop. Because the village was seven kilometers away from the highway. And when I went, I dropped at that village. I asked somebody. How can I get to this village? How can I get to this village? They told me there is no car here. Is either the horse cart or the motorbike? Wala moto saikululu. Then I was lucky to have a motorbike. Ako bitung alana takul sono yandi ay ay moto saikululu soto. But the motorbike too told me that he is not going direct to that village. Ako bari mas masimatiyo fanangka na ko mantar taka mo sa ato to fango fango de. And then it was late. Ako ndu to mo suokuda. So he can take me to his house. Asin sambano aya. I sleep there. Nalaje. The following morning. Wosamo. He can take me to the village. Asin sambani sa ato to. And I agreed there. There was no option for me. I spent the night in that village. Then early in the morning, around seven, the man woke up and told me, are you set? I said, yes, I'm set. Because I was fasting. So I was fasting. So I didn't have time to eat. Even at night, they gave me some food. I just drank water. And then continued with the same fast. So when I reached that village, they took me to the Alcalos. The village name is Tenkoli. Then I talked to the Alcalo. Then he told me, it's true. We have some soldiers who run away from the Gambia. Gambia. But do you have a picture on you that can show us the man you are looking for? But if not, I'll be able to let bang the menje ka itan de koi beni mari le nyin kang. I told him yes. Akwa kai ha. Then I remove Baro's photo. Akwa tumo lang ay Baro na talo bundi. Then this man look at this photo for five minutes. Akwa kebani na talo ji be for minute lulu. Then I saw him shake his head. Akwa ya ja ya kmo ji ja. Then my heart was just just like dropping. Akwa tumo lang ay jikilateta. He told me this man is not here. Akai ni mari tijam. But I can do you a favor. Rinsi ma koi no. I'll call one of the soldiers. Me soldier olu killing kumandi. So that he can talk to you. Ru asidia muye. Then he called one soldier. I soldier killing kumandi. I didn't know the soldier. Akate ma soldier olu. But when he saw me, wa biru oyaje. He greeted me and asked me what my name was. I am Kontong. I am Nininka Atola. And I told him I'm Lieutenant Barrow's second wife. I told him that Lieutenant Barrow is a friend of mine. He got information that Barrow is here. Na kibaro mo yuko Barrow bijanne. Told me no. Ako marika hani. Don't listen to anybody who tells you Barrow is not alive. Barrow is not dead. Aka kani la mo 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 ndi na mensa fo yuko Barrow mamfa. They have killed officer. Ye officer nyimfale. That's the exact words he told me. Ako ye nyim kumakangol le fae. Can I tell him thank you? Aka ye numbara. And I asked them, I have to leave. They told me to wait for breakfast. I said, no, I'm fasting. So now there was no motorbike for me. But there was a boy who has a bicycle. He offered to carry me. We spent almost three hours before we reached the highway again. So when I came, I made the last ferry house closed. I went to sleep in my colleague's house. At the health center. When I passed the night there, 
the first thing in the morning, I left. When I reached the house, that was the first day I cried. When Baro died. When I told him that Baro is not there, definitely he has been killed. So it was like that was the day he died. We were all crying. And it was very sad. Because our, our hopes were sad. That was sad. So about two months after the events, you went to Casamas on your own in order to look for your husband. That's correct. Right. And, and this was following a family decision where... That's correct. Madam Yabo, you were at home. You were the one who was with the children. Yes, with our, with our aunt. Okay. Yes, with our aunt. Okay. Can you tell us how you felt upon Madam Balde's return and hearing the news that your husband was in, in Casamas? Okay. At no other point we were hopeful, so, but uh, when I think of it, I, I doubt. And I said to me, uh, I said Basiru cannot be alive for all this while and yet uh, not uh, have any information about him, so I was doubtful. I, I was always doubtful. I was doubtful that he, 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 he did not die. But when Mariamo returned, mm. we, we now knew for certain, certain that um, he was no more. Can you tell us the impact that this had on your family following um, Lieutenant Basiru Barrow's death? Can you tell us a bit about how this affected your family? At that day, for us, it was only uh, Basiru that died. But uh, his death was like the death of many people. His, his, his death led to the death of his uh, father, and uh, that sadness also um, affected the mother. The mother was also thinking all the while, the, you know, women of the provinces, she was always thinking about uh, him, especially the way they, they announce, they say things to her. They keep telling her that uh, he went to kill people and get and got killed, uh, and that they killed him like, like a chicken, they killed him like a dog. So as an elderly person, she, she could not um, uh, handle that, and uh, that affected her, her health. It, it, it now became a very uh, a disaster for the family because he was, um, you know, the, the, the holy breadwinner of the family. You know, the child that uh, you are placing all your hope upon, upon just to hear one day that uh, he's been killed. You know, the child that you are placing all your hope upon just to hear one day that he's been killed. Uh, it was difficult. They couldn't uh, handle it. For us, uh, Bas Basiru, for his uh, family, his relatives, he's always very concerned about their issue. And Basiru, he, he, he was a very good man who, who uh, made sure that uh, he stood for his family, his uh, relatives. When, he, when, when uh, these uh, things happened, the family suffered. 
Because no matter how much uh, his relatives help us, uh, they cannot do exactly as he would have done. We support with the family. Especially me. I do business in the home when he was alive. Uh, but after he, he, he died, uh, I could not continue. He was the one, Basil was the one that uh, used to help me. I, 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 had, I had a tailor. If, I, if, if, I, if month ends and I don't have money to pay, Basil normally would uh, make the payments for me. So I entered for Basil to get a little bit so now that he was not around, so it became difficult for me to continue to pay the tailor. So I, I, I couldn't do anything anymore. So I said to myself, let me go to the market and uh, open a restaurant. So I was the, at the restaurant working there. For seven good years, seven years. For seven, for seven years. But, but when I bend down the heat, when I bend down on the cooking pot and I, I keep selling until it uh, finishes, the heat that comes from the cooking pot, it affected my eyes. Uh, so I had operations on my eyes. So things were difficult, very, very difficult for us. Yes. Yeah. So following your husband's death, you had to find a way to sustain yourself financially, mm -hmm. as well as coping with the emotional difficulty. Yes, yes. And you told us that you started cooking in order to make some more money, in order to sustain your family. Yes. Because I, I did not want my children to become street boys. I, I want to make sure that I'm able to provide for them, if not, uh, even not uh, to provide them for all they need. Because nobody will be able to help them and do everything for them. There are things you can explain to somebody, but there are others you, you cannot. So that is why I, from that time, when I leave the house at 6 o'clock, half past 6 to 7, I would light the fire. And that's where I stay up to 6 or 7 in the evening. Uh, for the children, I make sure that uh, they are school is uh, going normally, but I see them only in the evenings. So things were really, really difficult, very difficult. Because Basiru did everything for his family. For me, Basiru, even the children, when they, when they got sick, he took, took you to the hospital. He, he takes his children to the hospital. He does everything for his children. So now, uh, if I should uh, reach a point where I see no one doing the same services, I just hold on to God and say, whatever it is, I have to uh, tighten up and work uh, to make sure that the, the children let them not uh, let them be under control. And uh, by the grace of God, I got help from from the family, but uh, for my children, I thank God. All of them uh, went to school, and uh, despite uh, the hardships, uh, they they were educated. Yeah. Yes. Mr. Uh, was a very intelligent man. And uh, by the grace of God, his children too are intelligent. 
got uh, through God's blessings, all of them were educated. What could I have back? Things were difficult. Mm. Yes. The children, uh, all of them, uh, been graduated with good results. It was difficult to, to get work for them. Uh, but I had one elder. Uh, he is someone that does not want to get into these things. But uh, the only thing he did was to, 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 to study website uh, designing. Uh, that's what he does. He doesn't work for anybody. He works independently. Uh, the second child, daughter, when, when, when she graduated, she went to jail of tutors. Uh, they were the first badge at that time. She, she studied banking. But wherever she went uh, seeking for employment, she doesn't get. Despite her good uh, results. In fact, people tell her that uh, to help you would not be the, it would not be difficult. But uh, it seems she never get a job. So it was difficult. During uh, 22 years, for the past 22 years, uh, we were living in tears. That is why now, whatever I'm waiting for, uh, the heart is uh, God's. And uh, if not that, I wouldn't have been crying today. The day that I am praying for God, this is the day that I, have, I got it. Because I want to know, I want the whole nation to know what the truth is. Because all the allegations that were levied against Basiru, they were many. They made him to look like a bad person. They said these were the bad soldiers. These were the enemies of the state. Uh, but Basiru saw these things. In the spread of three months, he saw what was coming for the next 22 years. He saw that within the spread of the three months, that uh, what, what was coming in the next 22 years. Uh, when it was announced that uh, they were going to be in office for two years, he, he, he did not want to hear that uh, being said. Whatever we got into, the people of this nation have seen it now, but he, he knew it uh, at, an, at a very early stage. Basiru's death, the hardship that it's uh, brought to the family is, is so much. Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much for that. Um, Mr. Chairman, is it possible to have 10 more minutes so that we can actually conclude the testimony before we go on break? Uh, you may please proceed, the Council. Council, for a minute, Council, don't know your continue. Please, you can't do it. Thank you very much. Madam Balde, can you tell us a bit about the impact that the killing of your husband had on you as well as the rest of the family? Madam Balde, I have been here for a long time. 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 A lot. What's that? First. Follow. Basiru's death. Basiru's death. Make me to live back hotel. Well, I have been here for a long time. To go and stay with my sister. At other see a bad way, which I never wanted. Nena man lafi nungola. Secondly, flanjam. We lost our our father-in-law. Eh, amunta if if forty bitan na. We lost our mother-in-law. If forty bitan keola if forty bitan musola basiru mulala. All because of his death. Olube basiru la sa ya leo sabo. Secondly, okola sabanjam. I lost. Or I resigned from my job. I bula to go in for an other job. Rukata do ku do ke. All because of Basiru's death. Kube Basiru la sa ya le asab. It was really tough. Ako koleata numbak. When he died, Rafada, there was one option I had. 
Et vous avez fait un travail I went for postings. After one year, seven months, I came back to RVH. It was on that note, it was there that I happened to meet Alma Momane, who used to be very close to Baro. When I got married to Baro, while I was going to school, Baro was in America doing his course. It's the same Alma Momane who brings my allowances. But on that day, when I was working at the antenatal ward, Alma Mo's wife was admitted there. It's a condition called PIH. That is pregnancy induced hypertension. When he came, he just finished our ward rounds. Because it is a procedure when you are at the hospital. Early in the morning, when you are in the morning shift, you have to go before it. You prepare your trolley as the in charge. So wait for the doctor who is coming to do the rounds. For the doctor who is coming to do the rounds. When we had our rounds with one Nigerian doctor, Dr. Taiwo, DRRC qui est la CDRD, il a collé au col Mintaki Berike Tata. Car moi, je balourie sur la télé, nous avons battu Masala à Kolayale. Ça coûte à fond d'un quai Tata. Allez, on est saying six triple nine one three zero nine three eight eight four three zero. Hello, assalamu alaikum. Hello, malakou salam, na bula numbar. Numbar, toi dis mani kan kuma dimuto. Ah, <laughs>
Melamol pula ni konon bebuale alamari alamai jinol men tu so ala shol so si man jadi kembala. Amin ya Rabbi. Ah, bari meni ya ke wul tenjina la ani ya ke menu la wul tenjina la ani ma tenjina la la wul tenjina la de. Osan ya Rabbi. Ah, di kosi tu mula mu fa fa la di senta mani tu kan nyojan kan jele nyokan. No no no, mau posi guno. Saya nak berkata dalam programu beda apa ke alma ini kalau ni ada tadi dalam programu kegandaan ulu lundi tu ni ada ni ni ada ke mood ni ni ada untuk kita mesti boleh kono ya uli dah ye fasi ni ada. Ah, alam berkata. Yo berkata apa ke? Berkata. Berkata apa ke konsilor? Kami rasa kita bukan lagi sekolah di bari ni dua belas orang tu ablang ada fana jibe ada sekian lagi sekolah di. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Ah, batu di mana kamu kau di mana tu? Fatma Dafadi. Fatma Dafadi. Jami sa. Ibu aku pada Fadi. Abah la Fadi. Benda Fadi kau lejan. Hmm, mana yang kau awal? Mula ni ke? Hmm. Mula mula aje mula awal fanang kan? Mula tu ni. Ah, tu mana tu mana dua batu? Dua la bang saya, tu bang saya tu di kekole abah. Kekole. Amin, amin. Barakah. Barakah. Hello. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Allo kau sendu. Alhamdulillah. Tuhdi mari kau kau mari mundo. Umar tu lah. Mundo. Beka mah. Bismillah. Eh, moro nunggu balafah warta balik. Balafah warta, balafah warta. Bergambar dengan mubang kote. Bangku alam ni. Alka terasi kita sangat ceno dal kejele. Ha, aku lihat. Moro mesir yang sangat ceno lo punto de. Hmm. Mesir yang sangat ceno lo punto. Hmm. Aku balafah warta balik. Aku balafah warta balik. Balafah warta. Ya lo mula ye bulan mana? Hmm. Ye oke kanyan bosor kejele. Hmm. Par mul biya bula mena. Hmm. Uyo kenyan da puka tarajiwe. Awo seni ada kaya. Kuma sa punda ba pool me nuko na dun me bula lan dun me bula transition ola. Je, ale bula nuko lan? Ba bula puka yun bula transition oni na da mafung ko. Dulo ka damen dun ngabo ma si follow. Hmm. Wala min. Moli eti me na niya dante wala wala ka chila kunda. Par me eti me na niya dante wala. Hmm. Eto kaya man na faso. Hmm. Orang ni bulan mana, banyak pol mana kau nak jemput kerja ada ke? Ia mula di mana lalu noma, ia mula pada faham noma, ia mula mula noma, ia orang pun dikasih sokor. Okay. Ni mau ke no? Hmm. La pada dia lah. Hmm. Tapi ko. Ah okay. Ia mau bulan mana yang dah wakil, mau bulan mana yang dah wakil. Ah tu mau dua hari bela mui kan ni. Ya, atau apa yang dulu, apa yang dulu, dulu ni bulan mana siang ini, dulu ni bulan transition lah, dulu dulu faham, dulu siang siang aje nol nol kuda nol kau ini. Hmm. Mana aku nak kudo lakukan benda ni? Okay. Abang aku bag. Abang aku. Hello. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Mana kontrol? Ya, abang aku ngejo. Tuah di mana kita? Tuah kau dapat ni kau ada. Ah, ni kau ada apa lagi? Ani kau ada apa? Kena kau ingat memang kau ada mukul ni ada. Kau ni, ni ni mana tulis balik lagi ni nama. Hmm. Ah, ye nama ye sama nang wala mubang kole ni biasan wala mubang kole tengkol. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Ah, lalu lalu ni jadi lama kian jula kunda. Ya, barang kabah ke kian ko? Ah, betul betul nak lah sekolah ni. Ah, baring ol ready dua ko ada mu wadul di wadul yang sojan dalam bal hak ada ni lah. Al saya yang form minul ya kata yang mandunu bayi bayi jai lah bayi tentula. Kali alon nyaming. Nta commander la beta la no karu watu tige watu tami tala ndala fonga minute lulu vedo moye bari nala kilo ba kang ni mo program ni timi alonko akanale home digital fm su radio tala nsabo tala nsabo akabo tena ngola kada arjumola dami alonko kati rrc serial mi alonko ikata mabe ikata ya seda roldi kila kumakamu kamale na kana mi alonko banko tumando baru banko jamaa wole moye. Pro faham rosak eh mula kalam ta mingkira nyim banko kang ya alam marlo kono, anin trim balik al mingkira, anin mula kalau aku ni ada le tak ini la dimbal, bidum badan nale jane, nyim programu minu blow back tu allah boleh swap number one, anin swap number two, swap number one mula balik 
brikama police ti suno nyaat lemo sop no mo tuba le red brikama red cross nyaat lemo la wali kam min wafi wallo ma wayla wolti asifa o sifa aytel bi jele samson bi ye tekno fonam bi jani mobile bakas jorang jamal e ka satellite dixol fonam wafi le anin cable anin ka sambala fo ya ya fix ka warranty fonam dila anin aps approved service aps money transfer wol fonam fela le jang ila bunda ba janjan ngale banko bele kam bari ila brigama bunda jang wala fela le petro gas jang jidi bank dalaje ani tol fananga nduga kale money transfer bi je ala molmi matamod la al se commande ali a fo nombo woro ki ala nanni aps la de am yalla ko rante je patate je cash pa wal ni mobile credit call wal fanam be katara jele so birun de muhammed lamin bojang ml bojang tele ba sering na boss to yalla jang siran kanja mbal jaila ba folale al numbara
Badi mudo bully shop number one. Bully shop number one. E bale da bing wala mubirikama police station onya tele mola. Bully shop number one. E tolo mudo dinkirati dinkirati mene alonko ebe njim fengol sonola adadi malo fengol mene alonko mobile lolo anin channel lolo. Bully shop na heki channel lolo sotale ne heli alonko na ya sang mbasambala fali anga fixale na memory card sotale ne plus drive phone Bluetooth speakers e afuno glass protector mili alonko ni ala mobile lolo kan santa bara mero si ma yandele na charger sotale na sifa o sifa na flash screen fana su talen woto angam bore bulli so e man da wo fana la bulli so bi itel funol so talele techno funol hawaii funol samsung galaxy sifa o sifa anin simple funol na le alon koy battery bu kataria jila wadam to nyaati bulli so number 1 afela nyaabe tidin dale brikam police station o nyaati le ngola drong ana lafta ke kata nyuya wala nyin kam wala ka kodo e la koto ale komandi telephone ola 9957262 wala 7799953 Zero. Bully shop number one, Jara. ndina <laughs> kana jam holi dela ika haimaro kenyami wolum nyindi ko wato doli la kodo isia bar wato doli la kodo kadasale minuli alum ko la kodo kadasa wolle kasia wolle asabu APS ni nyin nate kai ko holi de cash money butu wo APS inatale yenda hande wala badu ngolum kamune bato foibe tenda to ban foibe santo la mbese nyin kenu le ka komandero ke nyin kamala nga kodo sote bulu ngale ko APS iko sign de nsen na holi de ke fo holi de li ban atara na kodo ruma ban because wato wato na kodo do banda itol be tan la jele ka je ko ka kodo do dinna wala APS ita kam min ke do ni la ka to ka bula pleno ko ne fly ni fra da gambia jang ye ko do joro so tara APS to abe bato ka wala da lafta kuma ko e mo la nyinol beto ali commande plus 4412163403 wala ali e waza plus 4479042810 APS international wala nata pour ka modu da hande ko do da fanna Money turns back.